Lakshmi Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today in this video tutorial we will learn about how to find all the, all the files and folders within any directory inside the uh, inside any drive inside window. So how we can do that first of all we need to create a ch project so for it go to file go to new go to file go to new and then click on project here you need to click on ch visual ch and windows and click on ok it will lead us to the working environment of the ch platform so now we will take a single control that is the push button and we will double click on it why because it will lead us to the callback of that particular push button callback means that whenever we click that uh, particular push button then then we can then all the instructions within this function that is private void button one underscore click will get executed okay so first we will have to declare the class that is called as directory info now you can see that we uh, the compiler is showing us error because of the fact that we have to import one library using system dot io using system dot io uh, this will help us to like uh, input and output certain things so you, you should have to import this uh, library using system dot io now the directory info is actually a class and why we are using it because it will give us access to certain functions and methods which will help us to find the all the files and folders names within any directory so we will write new first let me write and then i will explain directory info okay okay at the rate of c hash okay now c colon hash okay c colon hash now what is this c is the object of that particular class that is the object of directory info and why we have created this object because of the fact that we want to have an access to certain functions and methods which will help us to find the all the files and folder names okay and this is the way new directory info this is the way to create an object okay now because we want to find the uh, to find the members of the C drive so we, we have written C colon hash okay C colon uh, slash okay okay now now there is a, an, another thing that is called a C dot get files c dot get files now what is this thing what is this thing this is a method now get files is a method get files is a method which belongs to directory info class okay directory info class okay but uh, but we cannot directly write it we can just call it with the help of this c dot get files okay c dot get files okay now now obviously we have to store it out in certain object or variable so we will write here files underscore zero oh sorry files underscore zero so this is this is our object or variable in which we are storing it and uh, we we are declaring another okay now now this file info is our another class okay uh, which will help us to create an object that is files underscore zero and this files underscore zero will store all sort of information of all the files inside this object okay get file is a method or function which will get all the names and properties of all the files etc and then it will store inside this files underscore zero but how to write how to iterate and find all the names and uh, types of files and folders we will write for each loop 
Now what is this thing for each loop? For each loop is the alternative for for loop and it will iterate through each and every member. For loop is just for integer, okay? But this thing for each will iterate to like strings and another uh, type of like variables, okay? So we will use here for each, okay? And for how much time it will iterate? It will iterate for file info f n files underscore zero how much times how much time file info is there inside files underscore zero okay okay so it will iterate how much we don't know how much there are but but if there are like five so it will iterate for five times if the if there are like six files okay which are stored and, and we have create local variable here you can see that this f is a, a local variable here or object okay or file info so it will check files underscore zero and then for each will iterate for the for this that much time so we will write console dot write line file dot name then hopefully you know about console dot write line console dot write line then we will write f simple f you you don't need to write any other thing and it will uh, give us all the names of all the na uh, folders and files which are inside this thing okay now you can see that we got these things okay log and this and this and all the things okay of all the files okay we can even change it to e okay wait we can change it to e and we can get some more things e then then you can see that there are mp4 files and a lot of other things so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe